Here's how to spend a day in Vancouver, BC. Kick your day off just beside the Vancouver Convention Center to see the Vancouver Olympic Cauldron. During the Olympic and Paralympic Games in 2010, this was one of two locations in the city where the Olympic flames were lit. While you're here, you can also check out the Digital Orca, which is a sculpture just beside the Convention Center that really embodies Vancouver's coastal charm. Next, head down the steps between these two structures and make your way to the ocean. Grab some brunch at Day Dutch while you take in the mountains, the water, and the seaplanes landing and taking off. It's not a bad spot to enjoy a meal. After you've fueled up, make your way over to Vancouver's iconic Stanley Park. Depending how much energy you have, spend some time either driving, walking, biking, or running along the seawall. I chose to drive. This may be number one on the list of the most popular tourist attractions in Vancouver, but once you take in the beautiful city and ocean views, you'll see why even the locals can't get enough of this path. Next, take a load off and head over to Kitsilano Beach to soak up some sun. Kits Beach is always full of energy and is also surrounded by lots of local coffee shops, restaurants, and even an ice cream parlor if you need a little pick-me-up. When you've had enough of the sun and you start to get hungry for dinner, you'll have plenty of great options to choose from. Giardino Restaurant is a great option if you're craving Italian food, with many locals going as far as to say it's the best Italian spot in the city. It's also just a couple of blocks away from the seawall across from Granville Island, which is a great spot to catch the sunset and end your day. Have Vancouver recommendations of your own? Leave them in the comments.